Welcome to episode 73 of the Clarity Compressed Podcast. My name is Paul J. Daly. I will be your host. And today we're going to talk about what happens when you get punched in the face. Clarity can only really exist in the light of truth. Branding just isn't a tactic. It's a lifestyle change. So there was a famous quote from a boxer, world champion boxer, and uh, depending on your age, you may or may not remember what it was like when he was boxing. His name is Mike Tyson. So uh, he had an awesome video game, by the way. If you were back in the day, like my first gaming system was the original NES, and Mike Tyson's Punch Out was one of my very, very, very favorites. But either way, I digress. Boxer, famous, named Mike Tyson, and he was very um, sensational, and he said a lot of things, and. Not many of them were profound. Well, you know, I've been, you know. You know, he's a showboat, and uh, you know, it was a lot of fun to watch. He was an entertainer more than anything, but an incredible boxer. He used to knock people out with like the first punch or like with one punch early in the fight. He was infamous for that. And he said something that I think was really profound. I want to share it today. He said, everyone's got a plan, and I'm paraphrasing. Everyone's got a plan until they get punched in the face. And what he meant by that was boxers would come in the ring and everyone got an approach. This is what I'm going to do. This is how I'm going to react. This is how long I'm going to last. This is my conditioning. And they have all these plans of what they're going to do. And then they get punched in the face and it all changes. And they find out the truth. So today, I hear a lot of people talking about like, what is your truth? I think in a lot of ways, if you live your life in the sense that you operate by what is your truth, I think that can be misinterpreted in a thousand ways. And often, your truth is a lie. The truth is what happens when you're under conflict. It's what happens when you find out what you're made of because something comes at you that you didn't know. So in that moment, your truth doesn't matter. The reality is the truth. Let me give you some examples. We'll start with athleticism. So in athletics, right, you think you're an amazing runner and then all of a sudden you have to run in conditions you weren't planning for or the track is different or the temperature is different or the altitude is different. And then we find out the truth about how adaptable and what type of athlete you actually are. Let's talk about relationships for a second. I love talking about relationships because I love people. I love connecting. And I have been in a marriage relationship for 17 years. So let's talk about marriage relationships or romantic relationships if you want to go there. There are a lot of times when you could ask me, how is the relationship going, right? What is my truth? My truth, and I think I've heard this in so many relationships too, so at least it feels good to know I'm not alone. Not letting myself off the hook though. My truth is things are going great. Yeah, things are awesome. My truth. Then you ask my wife. Then you ask the other person, how are things going? And they might be like, oh, I just feel like we're not connecting. I'm, I'm kind of sad or disappointed. Or like I feel like locked in or trapped or not happy. All the things that happen in relationships, right, to illustrate the point. So is your relationship working? No, the truth is that your relationship is broken. So my truth and the truth, like the reality is that when conflict comes or the questions come or something we didn't expect come, we find out how strong the relationship is. It happens too, a tragedy befalls you, things like that, God forbid. But that's when you find out what the truth of your relationship is. And so um, give me give me another example. Personal finances, right? Great example. Are you financially secure? Yeah, sure, I'm financially secure. And then something happens, the punch in the face comes, the car breaks down, your kid's in college and does something dumb, right? All of a sudden, you need to spend a bunch of money and you had enough to cover your bills, but now the truth is that your finances are not secure. You find out the truth. Let's talk about brand for a second, right? Brand beats the hacks. Why do I say that? Well, because when you build a brand and develop a brand, it far outlasts any sale that you have or any like try to like pay-per-click marketing you're doing that value, that value dies really quickly. And so what is the truth about your brand? People think, well, I love my brand. My brand is good. 
people, I have a great reputation, I have a great team, I have a great logo, you know, my business is doing good. Well, guess what? What happens when your budget gets cut and the recession hits? Uh, something happens where, you know, a PR thing goes wrong and you can't do the sales activity or you need to do more than sales activity and all of a sudden your sales dip, your company gets smeared, no one's coming to your defense, guess what? You just found out the truth about your brand. And you know, I'm gonna go on a soapbox for a second. I mean, this is the problem with good times. This is the problem that when things are good, the economy's good, there's always sunshine, you're on the honeymoon phase of your relationship, your body feels great athletically, right? You've never really taken the punch yet. That's the problem when things are going good, is that you lie to yourself that everything is fine because it's so easy to coast. It's so easy to convince yourself that you're good because I think we always wanna convince ourselves that we're doing good. Who wants to think like I'm doing a bad job? Nobody wants to think that. That's the problem with good times. And frankly, for the younger listeners and viewers that we have, let me just warn you, especially if you're in business or a new relationship, well, let's talk about business and economy. The troubling thing about an inexperience is that maybe you haven't been punched in the face yet. And that's not a bad thing, right? I'm not talking down on any um, entrepreneur or business person that hasn't been through an economic downturn yet, right? The last one really hit in 2008, I remember. I almost went out of business. But if you've never gone through that, first of all, I'm really happy you've never gone through it because it sucks. Secondly, I'm really concerned that you haven't gone through it because it's gonna be a punch in the face and we're gonna find out the truth. And the truth, I know, is a lot of people are gonna go under because the good times are rolling right over your best judgment because you don't have that experience. It's a killer. So the good news is you can do something about that. Like, what's the solution? Ask you right today, it's good to constantly test these things. Test yourself, put yourself in situations of conflict so that you can understand what you would do in the conflict, obviously in a controlled way. Don't like throw your relationship or your marriage into conflict just to see what happens. That's a bad idea. No one's, relationships have enough conflict. You don't need to create any. But either way, pay attention when that conflict comes so you can really honestly ask yourself, what is the truth about my relationship? What is the truth about my level of preparedness? What is the truth about my financial security? What is the truth about my business and my brand? Be willing to ask the question and be willing to face the answer so then you can prepare for the punch. Like if you trained in a way where there was never any conflict, like you would just suck when game time came. Why? Because there's no one on the other side of the line wanting to rip your head off when the ball gets snapped, you know? You get it? I think you get it. So that's what I want to talk about today. You know, times are really good right now. Economic times are really good. It's easy to let it roll. Don't let it roll. Prepare. Be honest with yourself. Take some advice from our good friend, Mike Tyson, who definitely knew how to throw a punch. The punches are going to come. They're going to come. So ask yourself right now, what, it's, here's the application, okay? All of that to get you to this application today. I want you to be able to walk away with something you can immediately apply to your life and hopefully get some benefit, some value, some growth out of. It's something that I wish somebody would have told me 20 years ago, 15 years ago. Somebody, I wish somebody would remind me of this every day because again, it's so easy to lie to ourselves about our actual situation. It takes discipline to be, and discipline and humility to be able to see what it really is. So question of the day is, what are you lying to yourself about? I would say that nine out of 10 people, maybe 99 out of 100, maybe 999 out of 1,000 people are lying to themselves about something. It's probably 100% of the people, but we'll give that one person out there the benefit of the doubt. Most people lie to themselves all the time about things in their life. So ask yourself the question, what are you lying to yourself about because until you answer that question, you cannot start the path to clarity. You cannot start the path to growth. So that's what we're talking about today on episode 73. What happens when you get punched in the face? Let's be honest with ourselves. 
let's assess, let's plan, let's change, let's get better so that we can do better, so we can serve others, and uh, we can all rise together. Not talking about your truth. Nobody cares. I'm talking about the truth because that's the only thing that matters when you get punched in the face. As usual, thank you so much for listening and watching to this podcast, for following along on the social platforms. I really, really, really appreciate all the DMs and all the reaching out and all the love, all the questions. I love helping out however I can. And we got a bunch of stuff in the works. I can't talk about it too much. I think we have another Clarity Con cooking. So our next event is gonna be bigger and better than the first event. Excited to share more about that. Also, I'm working on some workshop stuff that, so for people who can't, you know, uh, get get FaceTime with me or can't hire uh, my agency congruent to do brand work, people who can't get out to the events, I'm making something that will allow you to participate and learn and grow together in a community sense. So I'm excited to tell you more about that soon, but I'm just dropping that seed in public for the first time right here. I hope you have a great week. I hope you care for one another and I hope you get clarity and keep moving forward.